Hey guys, welcome to Study Money. This is your host, Marco. And in today's topic, we will talk about the top five benefits of doing online banking, whether it's paying for bills, paying for transactions, sending money to friends, relatives, or other people there are benefits to doing that so if you would like to know more about these benefits stay tuned and watch this video Okay, welcome back to our channel, Study Money. And here we talk about many different things that revolve around money. And so for today's topic, the top five benefits of transacting online, the first and most obvious reason to do online banking or to do online transactions is the convenience that it provides. What do I mean by convenience? Well, you don't have to prepare yourself to go outside, to get out of the garage, drive your car to the premises of maybe Meralco, the bank, or what have you, and to settle for that transaction. Diba? Not to mention you falling in line. Means an pagdating mo doon, especially if it's the due date. Sobrang haba ng pila. And you may be in a surprise of your life pagdating mo dun, uh, there's 50 or more people trying to, you know, chase the deadline or trying to prevent disconnection from happening to them. So how convenient it could be if you can just do it from the comfort of your own home using your computer or using your cell phone. So that's number one, convenience. Number two. It prevents you from being exposed to risks. So, alam naman natin yung nagdaan na coronavirus, di ba? When you transact things online, all right, you prevent yourself from being exposed to the elements. Um, you prevent yourself from getting infected by by different viruses, by different infections out there. Okay, so if you just if you get the chance to do it. At the comfort of your own home, you prevent the risk of getting infected. Not to mention, there are bad guys out there that are after your money or other people's money. It doesn't really matter. All they want is cash, okay? People set traps for people in the ATM machines, okay? So, ganito lang yan. Example, mag-withdraw ka sa ATM, kukuha ka ng pera, tapos pupunta ka sa Meralco, magbabayad ka ng electric bill mo, di ba? And just to find out that they've put a device there to trap your cash. So, diba? Paano yun? But you can prevent all that when you do things online, when you transact online, when you pay for things online. Alright? Also, okay? And God forbid it happens. May mga hold uppers dyan. Baka inaabangan yung mga tao na withdraw sa ATM. And again, I hope this does not happen to any one of us. But you can see it in the news time and time again. Alright? It happens. Nangyayari po yan. And so, do whatever you can to learn how to transact things online. Alright? Um, another thing is yung ulan at init. So when it's summer, it gets extremely hot, extremely humid, and people are prone to heat stroke when it's extremely hot. Diba? So prevent that from happening to you. Learn to transact things online. Another thing is yung pag-ulan ng malakas. So syempre pag nabasa ka, there's a tendency for you to get sick. All right. Not to mention flooding. If you're located in flood-prone areas, you prevent yourself from exposing yourself. All right, from these force majeure. Number three, you can pay for things on time. So as soon as you get your Meralco bill, all right, pwede mo na siya agad bayaran right on time. As soon as you get the, you know, that paper or that email. 
you can pay for it immediately. You don't have to wait for the due date. You don't have to, you know, step outside. You don't have to drive, get stuck in traffic and all that. And just do it at the comfort of your own home. Okay, you can prevent disconnection. You can prevent disconnection fees. You can prevent interest rates if you're if you're paying for credit cards, diba? Right? So doing things online allows for you to settle the matters speaking of financial matters on time if your relative if your relatives need cash immediately all right you can send it through their bank online so pwede po yun. all right there's a bank out there that allows for you to transfer instantaneously to their bank account without having you to go outside diba right? so not only that you can mitigate risks but at the same time you can send it immediately you can send it on time you can send it on demand so that's number three number four is the time savings that you have now obviously everybody's time is precious everybody's time is important all right so isipin mo yung pag prepare mo palang para lumabas Okay, how much time does it consume? Yung pag travel mo palang to and fro that institution. Not to mention, kung dadaang ka pa ng banko to withdraw and then from the bank, pupunta ka dun sa financial, uh, pupunta ka dun sa Meralco or wherever just to pay for things. And also the travel time. The traffic in Metro Manila can get pretty bad very fast. So if you can avoid that problem, all right, well and good. So if you can do things online and avoid that problem, that's good for you, diba? Right? The time that you have saved can be used for other things that are productive. Maybe you can, you know, do more business instead of waiting and falling in line instead of being stuck in traffic you can do client calls you can prospect you can seo your company you can do many things with the amount of time that you have saved just imagine if you've been doing this for the longest time this is repetitive this is a cycle month after month after month 12 times a year all right not to mention how many times you actually have to go out to pay for something, to transact something. All right? Ilang beses mo ginagawa yun sa loob ng isang buwan? And add all the time up. Okay? Imagine you're putting it all together in a ball. How big of a ball it is. All right? How much time has it consumed from you if you're doing it cyclical? if you're doing it repetitively so that's number four number five last but not least it saves you money okay so example is you know if you can pay for your stuff on time if you can pay for your bills on time you prevent disconnection fees reconnection fees you prevent interest rates from piling up okay you can prevent um, you having to spend for fuel going outside and driving to the bank or driving to wherever place that you need to drive just to pay for something okay so it saves you a lot of money just compute how much money does it actually cost you to take the commute or to drive or to pay for fuel going to that place and then back home or back to your office perhaps how much money do you have to spend just to do that? And once more, kung ginagawa mo siya many times over in a month and multiply it by 12 months and multiply it by the many years that you've been doing that, how much money have you actually spent on top of what you've paid for? So guys, I hope that this video has helped you and has shed some light for you 
to get to know more and learn more about doing things online, transacting online, paying for bills online. And if you do, hit the like button down below. And for any questions, comments, suggestions, if you feel that meron ako na miss at hindi na banggit dito sa video na to, write it down in the comment section. And the information that you share in the community will benefit other people and allow for them to realize how important it is to do your transactions online. So if you have not already, subscribe to my channel, ring that bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.